Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Uh, today we're going to show you how to log into the developer section. Uh, this is obviously for people that have been invited to the developer section. You can also fill out a form on our site under the contact us if you're interested in joining our developer section. Uh, but once you are invited or you've been approved to join, uh, then you can follow the steps in this video to log in and begin posting. Okay, step one. You want to go over to the developers section of the site. You can do that by clicking on the link at the top of our site. And then you'll see you're now at developers.theunlocker.com. And in the back of that, you're going to put wp-admin. It'll take you to the login page. Now, you should uh, have been emailed your username and your password. So you're going to put that in here and then hit login to get into the back end of the site. So the first thing you'll do is you'll click edit under posts. Now you'll see all of the posts that the other developers have done. Uh, you'll also notice that the only thing you can do is hover over them and click view to see them. Uh, the only posts that you can edit are the ones that you have done yourself. So you can take a look at what everyone else is doing or you can put your own post by clicking on add new. and this will give you the add a new post option. So up here in the top, you can put a title. And then here in the main body, you can put the main information that you want. And you can use these buttons up here to uh, change the formatting of the text. You can also click over to the HTML and change that as well uh, if you're familiar with HTML. So you have some stuff here. Um, the other thing you need to know about this main section here is how to add an image. So what you do is you can just <coughs> scroll down and click where you want your image to be. So let's say we want it above new features and you click the image button here. Now what this will do is it will have you enter the URL of the image you want. Uh, we don't at the moment allow hosting of images on our own server so what you would do is you could just either host them on a Flickr account or just use Google and click on images and let's use him Right, so what you do is just right click the image, copy image URL, go back to here, click where you want the image again, and paste it like that. Then click OK. You don't need to enter a description. And now if you go back over to visual, there he is. All right? You can also click in the area that he is, center him, right align, whatever you want. Okay, and that's pretty much it for posting inside uh, the main body section of the post. Okay, there is one section that you need to do um, that is required by all of the posts. If you scroll down from the main body section, down here to custom fields, you'll see a drop down box and you'll see the word thumbnail. You need to select that and then you need to put an image in here that you want to display as a thumbnail. So how that would work is like so. So there you go. So there you can see Amon Ra's thumbnail posting right here. Uh, so if you don't put a thumbnail in there, this will just be a blank spot and it'll just look a little ridiculous. So let's say we want that same image that we got before to be our thumbnail. We would just put the URL in there again and hit add custom field. Keep moving over to the side. Uh, first thing you'll notice is post tags. These are automatically going to be SEO'd as meta tags in your web page. So you want to put whatever you think someone would search for in order to get to this particular page. So for example, this is new ROM version 2.1.1. So ROM would be a good one. And then just hit enter. ROM version 2.1.1. Uh, let's say your developer name, ROM, uh, ROM, ROM version 
2.2. And you can put as many of these as you want in here. Uh, usually the more the better. Just try not to repeat words more than, say, three or four times. You'll see I've used the word ROM four times already, so I probably want to stop using that. Um, if you keep using it, Google will actually remove that word uh, from your meta tags, thinking that you're just trying to spam them. Uh, so try not to do that too much. But again, these are important. Make sure that you put something in there. Um, so the next section is categories. Now these are kind of important and they're probably the most complicated thing uh, on the page until we figure out how to get a better way to do this. Um, but basically these are what we use to determine where your post will show up on the developer pages. Okay, wrong. And now you can see down here I can do all of his posts, his apps, his news, ROMs, let's do recovery images since we know we have a lot of those. You'll see all of his recovery images show up, as opposed to his ROMs or his news or whatever. Um, readers can also use this drop down here, and this kind of gives you a better idea of how it works. If they click developers, it'll show all the developers' posts. Android developers, just the Android developers' posts. All of the Android developers' apps, their news, their ROMs, their recovery images. Then you have Amon Ra, all of his ROMs, all of his recovery images. It would also show apps and news if he had any, but he doesn't. Cursor, all of his ROMs. If you click on just cursor or just on raw, it'll show you all of their posts, news, apps, ROMs, everything together, etc., and so on and so forth. So, it is important to fix the categories. So you're always, every single time, going to select developers and Android developers. Then you're going to choose one of the all things. So for example, this is a ROM, so all ROMs. Then you're going to find your name, right, through this list. So let's just do Amon Ra. Amon Ra. And then you're going to choose what it belongs under that. So again, this is a ROM. Okay, and then now you're done with that, you can scroll down and you'll see phones and all, all phones and Android phones. So you're going to check, check off all phones always, Android phones always. Now you need to check off what phones it works for. If it works for all of them, you got to run down here and select all of them. For example, if it's an app, let's say it's a, a ROM like the one we have here. Let's say it's for the HTC Hero. You're only going to select the Hero. And that's it. So once you're done with all that, you've done all of those things, you can now just hit publish. And now it'll say up here at the top, your post has been published. You can click on that to view the post itself. And you'll see there's the thumbnail, there's the image, and there's the post. Okay? And that's pretty much it. Uh, one more thing you can also do here on this page, if you scroll down to the bottom here, right above or right below the custom fields that we use to do the thumbnail, you'll see allow comments. You can uncheck that if you don't want people to be able to talk to you through the comments. Um, any comments that are left on the page, if it's their first time leaving a comment, you have to approve it. Um, so you don't have to worry about people being total jerks. Uh, the other thing, if they put a link, you also have to approve it as well. Um, otherwise, if they're a repeat person that's already been approved, then you don't have to approve anything. It'll just show up. But again, you can turn them on and off, and you can do that to each post, not necessarily all of them at once, just every time you do a post. If you don't want to talk to people about it, just uncheck this. No problem. Okay? And now, you'll see if we go to edit posts again here, you'll see now my post is right here. So I can click up here to do my posts, all posts, published posts, draft. Uh, and you'll see right here, new ROM is what I did. And we have options, edit, quick edit, and view underneath. So that's it. You should be all set. Happy posting. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me with the email that I gave you. Um, and enjoy, guys.